okay, I'm, I'm kind of sorry I can't um, sit down and chit chat. You see, I, I have a slight problem here. And what's this problem you got that we can share? Brother? Hey, I appreciate that idea. Well, you see, um, my dad asked me to run this errand in town, so I was just about getting ready to go for it when you guys came in. I'm mean, sorry about that. Like this? Like what? With your sleeper still on? This is not that far. Besides, I've been driving in my car. Let's cut this out. Ain't we gonna see it? No, you leave it. Hey, 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 you, you, you fuck my mind. You know, you're it's your house, too. You're gonna see it. You just find somewhere and fix your asses in. Oh, hey, Nikki. You never holla. Look, I say, you never holla. Look at what's happened now. Huh? What's in the bank? What you mad be this now? Eh? Look at Philip, my ma. Look, you don't make me vex. Look at the vex. Look at the. Look at the vex! Many! Many! Look at tell me, I'll wait for you. What you mad about the rich you? What you mad about? Will they make you punch you from your own men? You don't come bush again. You don't come for fire dancing. Even Gerard meet himself. Look, look, RJ. That one at all at all. RJ, I say shit is going down right now. Now it's nothing you and I can discuss in front of all those people. Mm. Just give me a little time and I'll walk shit out and things will be back to normal. May I ask a question? Nigga, shoot you. I'm a dog any day, man. What's up with that? What you got on your mind? Is there anything bugging you? I mean, don't you like it anymore? Shit. I'll take it. I'm your heart of cancer and you just should be bad for you and all that. Okay, no one. Maybe I'm not putting this right. We've all been like brothers, okay? Well, you know the point? I don't like this bullshit. So I'm just gonna cut through the cheese and let you have it the way I feel it. And to start with, I'm not down for this shit no more. I'm not down for this hangout group bullshit we do all this time. So I'm just gonna make one suggestion right now. I suggest you gentlemen get your black asses out of my house right now while I'm still seeing, okay? Look at the cat out of the yam with this room. I hear myself good. You did hear yourself. Get the fuck out of this shit, it's awful. Take your puppies with you. I 
Akoko. Akoko is a film. Man, I'm feeling you, man. I'm feeling you, bro. Hey. 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 Look away me, carry for my hand at a bush. Blend myself. Why did your whole force blend look? Look at look me for face. I go look look at me for face. Oh be me for two cantata. Eke e me to sella. Ya ka da boy of this campus so. Heavily solid. Ikulele on board. Look at me finish. Make a bunch for me, Kappa. What? Oh, to see what, see what, see. Many, many goyas. See somebody go so home like a dance. You never lie. You never lie. But I go so rich. That's what beats me. Okay? What beats me? This guy's ways have changed. Okay? He has little or no time for we guys, man. And it's terrible, man. Just check it out. Can you imagine? You know what's bugging him these days? In your nigga, she bust this toes. Of course, he knows he can't dare funny shit. If you in, you in. And the only way out is to get caught. Smoke for life, bitch. The body knows it better than you or you. But why is he fucking? I don't know. We 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 I'll get to the root of this. Definitely there's something bugging him. You know? We won't kill ourselves brawling over this, brother. Don't keep on talking about Mescani. Huh? Okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. Much, much later. Bad girl, you told me you want it so badly. You're the time. Her name is Oluchuku. Zizi, why don't you quit this Oluchuku? Bullshit, let's talk about something else. Nothing can be more important than this girl, Amy. She is sweet, fair and slim. She's studying the Oluchi now. That's slim, sweet girl. Well, let me get your video. Hey, are you talking about the, the chick I was pointing out at near the cafeteria the other day? Yeah. Same girl? Of course. And you're saying that same booty is hanging outside waiting for me to get done, right? Trust me. Of course she is, yeah. <laughs> no, you're one bad mama, you know that? Of course. Alright, cool. Why don't you go get the bitch inside? Let's get right in, okay? I remember my... Hey, hey, no problem, but you know, two of you have to do the job this time. I feel specially okay, charged. Right you know back. Go get her, right? It's two to one this time, baby. <laughs> You're tripping, man. I like it. Oh, my. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Help me. Girl, I've been thinking about you for quite a while. You're on my mind every day and every night. My every thought is you. And the things you do seem so satisfying to me. I must confess it, girl. Just up my spine every time I take one look at it. I like it, girl. I like it. Oh, you're blowing my mind with the simple things you do, yeah. Amy, open the door, it's Zizzy. What the fuck is that? It's Zizzy. I don't give a fuck about Zizzy. I don't give a fuck about your mama gave you. Get the fuck out of here now. 
Open it down with all the chicken. Man, fuck you! Fuck all with you! Fuck your mother! And fuck whoever brought you here! Man, get the fuck out of my house before I get in there and kick your flat asses! Oh, you was that? Get out, bitch! I must confess it, girl. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Chews on my spine every time I take one look at it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Girl, you're blowing my mind with the simple things to do. I like the way you comb your hair. I like the stylish clothes you wear. I like it. It's just the little things you do that shows that you would really care. Please tell me why you're crying, okay? It's Dr. Tony. What about him? He keeps knocking me down all the time. But I've known Bruti since I got into the school. He's, he's not such a bad guy. <laughs> I don't know what I've done to him. I think it's because I've been rebuffing his love advances at me. Okay, well, why don't you let me see him and then when I get back we'll talk about it, I'll sort it out, okay? What will you tell him? Doesn't matter what I'll tell him, okay? I'm just giving you a reassurance, I'll sort it out. I hate to see you so sad, it's really breaking me. As far as is this school, okay, there's nothing I can take you off. Just stop crying, please. It breaks my heart to see you so sad. Let me see him. <laughs> Thanks for your show of concern. Really grateful. I saw you going to his house. So let me go over there and see him. You sit down here and wait for me. Give me 15 minutes, okay? <laughs> Please stop crying, okay? You're making me look so sad. You wait for me, alright? Okay? Don't cry. For a fever, man. I've never asked you for a fever before. Do this one for me. This one is a peculiar one. So, what makes it so peculiar? Huh? Well, the girl we're talking about is my sister in law here. She's my big brother's wife. And you know, if I don't do nothing about it, I'm going to turn out to look like a fool. And nigga, you know, I hate to look like a fool. But why must she be carrying her shoulder so high? Huh? Nigga, you're too educated for this shit. Look, that girl is like every other girl. They're complex. With a whole lot of problems. What makes you think that, that, that this girl is any different? Do it for me, man. Come on. Mm, I have heard you. But you know, it go hard though. You see, honestly, that girl has been gossiping around with my name. I mean... Look, look, look Booty ain't down for this shit. I know what time it is, man. I'm an OG. See this? This is 20 grand, nigga. Just take the money from me and forget this house, man. What's up with you? Look, not just because of the way you relate with everybody in the campus. I wouldn't have listened to you. Fuck that, bro, T. But let me no. just... It's okay. No problem. Yeah. But let's be pragmatic about this, okay? <laughs> if I walked in here, I was broke and I'm asking for a fever, you'd be the first to throw me out. <laughs> let's be realistic about this shit. Uh, yeah. Is your wife around? Oh, no, she's not around. Okay, see what's gonna happen. Yeah. When I'm going home, man, I'll bring you a chick and drop her here. You mean? Trust What's my name? This one would do you till you die. <laughs> <laughs> look to me. You know you're broke, man. I love you, I love you. Yeah, it's okay. So are you cool? I'm alright, I'm alright. You're, you're booty. Don't cross me, man. 
You know what I'm like if you fuck me. Don't fuck me oh, on this. No. A deal is a deal, right? I understand. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I bring the chick, man. That chick is bad. She's gonna do it all day. Cool. She's gonna polish your Gucci, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know I like it. Girl, I've been thinking about you for quite a while. You run my mind every day and every night. My every thought is you. And the things you do seem so satisfying to me. How did it go? Well, I had a word with him, and then we came to an understanding. See, I told him you're my brother's wife, and he promised he would never leave the story for the rest of his life. Come on, why did you have to tell lies? It's not good. Sweetheart, sometimes it's necessary to tell lies to solve a problem, and you can consider this one solved for life. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. May God bless you. Just stop crying, please. <laughs> Anytime in the future you have a problem, any problem, don't hesitate to come to me, you understand? And you can consider it solved as soon as you come to me. My name is Emeka. Emeka <laughs> Okugua. It's good to know you, Emeka. Okay, sweetheart. You can stop thanking me. There's nothing. Just stop crying, please. I can drop your kids, no bother. I'll take care of myself. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself, hey, okay? Enjoy, yeah, man. Help me. I like it, girl. I like it. You send chills up my spine every time I take one well, look at you. Oh, baby. I like it. I like it. Girl, you're blue in my mind. The simple things you do, like the way you comb your hair. I like the stylish clothes you wear. I like it. It's just how you blow in my mind with the simple Who's there? I'm coming. Hello. Who's there? I met her. Come in, come in. Thank you, yeah. Thank you very much. on 
again dressed up like this, your hair like that. Yeah. What are you trying to say? Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, that kind of behavior is uh, quite strange to our family. But no, don't misunderstand me. I mean, I attribute it to peer group influence. By the way, he came back uh, from school uh, last time. And for the very first time in his life, he said, Good afternoon, Dad. He called me Dad took off his cap and then I took a close look and I saw that uh, he's cut down his hair. He looked generally well behaved. And a couple of minutes ago I thought I heard him singing some Christian songs. You see, um, I wanted to conclude that maybe he has changed for the better. But again, I didn't want to be too hasty. So I said, well, maybe he has taken an interest in dramatic society and he's been given a role where he has to behave well so he can get some money from his father. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, um, you may be right. I'm not disputing that. He may have changed for good. You know? well, if, if he has changed for good. Good evening, Dad. Hello, son. How do you do? Fine. Good evening, Mom. Good evening, darling. How are you? I, um, I was upstairs, I was about to go to bed, but um, I decided to come down here so we can pray together. Pray? Mm. Pray? Yeah, just pray. Can we get on our feet, please? Yeah, we can. <clears throat> um, I'll call you here, please. You just run up the stuff. <laughs> Come on, hold it tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give him my hand. And close your eyes, Dad. You'll just put your eyes open. Father, you're, for you have said that where more than one is gathered. Well, I, I call this one meeting of my family. There's nothing unusual. No. Um, you see, uh, when the head of a family observes some changes in some members of the family, and he does not comment on it, it means that uh, he's not 
effectively come true. <laughs> When a maker came back from school, uh, I noticed something rather curious in your general behavior. He greeted me. He said, good afternoon, Dad. Uh, I couldn't believe that. For the very first time, he called me Dad and um, glanced up, saw you take off your cap, wearing a very impressive hair <laughs> style. I said, well, something must have come over you. And I said, your behavior has bothered me all these years. And I said, God, who must have been responsible for this? Has my son changed for good? Is this a transformation? <laughs> or oh, I am simply being dazzled by something ephemeral. So I said, well, I must make that observation to your hearing so we can find answers to it. Some other questions. Have you changed for the better? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let me put it this way then. You're my father, and there's um, absolutely nothing in the world that can change that. I know I've not been inconsistent. I don't know. really sad. God knows I'm sorry, and um, I just want to say that from now on, it's going to be a lot easier. I'm going to make up for it the best way I can. Sometimes, uh, the whole world will try to make a difference in one man's life, and that difference will not be affected. But sometimes, it takes just one way to put it to force to make all the difference. What is uh, a secret? <laughs> one wants to do a secret. That's right, curious. Well, I met this angelic, intelligent, beautiful girl back in school and she's been single-handedly, you know, instrumental in all those changes you're seeing right now. And she's just awesome. She's a phenomenal human being. She's nothing like any girl I've met all my life. I can think of nothing, absolutely nothing better than to get married to her right now. Huh. Getting married to her. Well, that's a very welcome information. But how can you give me a guarantee that you have transformed permanently? I'd like to know that. <laughs> well, Dad, I can only say by the grace of God that this transformation is wholly complete. I thank the Almighty God. Um, from the wild, irresponsible <laughs> person he was, to something to sign. <laughs> Give me a hug, son. <laughs> oh my god. That's my boy. That's my boy. Well, in appreciation of what the Almighty God does in us, within us. Ordinarily, a situation like this calls for some celebration. Let me think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. When? When are we saving it? No, no, no. Right. Uh, let me tell you what we're going to do. Um, let's save it for later. By the way, don't blame me if I'm very curious. How soon can I see this girl? <laughs> yeah. Well, that was sooner than you think, Dad. Really? Yes, I'll go back to school tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll go back to school tomorrow. As soon as you can. Hey, I have to. Let's see this uh, wonderful person. Yes, I think. She's my son. You're my son.
120,000 to fix it. That's a very inconsequential question. Absolutely irrelevant. Drop it. Uh, Lover, I can't wait to meet your parents. That's so? Yes. Um, I don't like killing time. Procrastination is a thief of time. You should know that. Okay. Lover, you don't know the amount of joy you have brought to this family. And I just can't wait to reciprocate. That's my habit. Come on, 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 come on,
house in the village. Thank you. Right. I yeah. knew that uh, somewhere along the line we are going to comment on it. Yeah. This is where I come to relax when it gets too hot in the township. And, uh, <laughs> we thank God for it. <laughs> what can one do? Um, you know, as I was saying, um, even though the contract was written in my name, I think what we have to do is to pull our resources together. Uh, because I cannot do it alone. So that at the end of the day, we will now share the profit. Chepas, that is not a problem. I've been involved in such situations several times. Ask people who know me. I know how to handle such things. I am happy that the contract is a big one. You'll see how I'm going to handle it. It's a success. <laughs> That my friends, how can they look for me? Don't come, that's a hack, I don't come, they look for me. Tell him I'm not in, I don't want to see anybody. Okay, where are you? The man I die enter. Peter! How can you ask him to tell me that you're not in? Huh? Is anything the matter? Have I seen you before? Jesus. Peter, you must be dreaming. Push him out and don't push him out. Push him out. Okay, the friends, Peter. I said, push him out and don't push him out. I don't want to go. Come on, so guy, go sack somebody. You want to go? You want to go? You want to go? Okay. Okay, I will be that. Uh, like me. Uh, I'm just looking for this. Uh-huh. Your wife, they for labor. You say? I should agree. My wife? Uh, they say for me to do that. For which house do I beg? For St. Andrews. They say me to come. No, no, no. St. Andrews? Uh, I declare that I'm okay. Please, I beg you in the name of God, please help me. Please, help me. Is please. there nothing you can do, doctor? Please, we don't run charity organizations. Who has sought for the money? Okay? Doctor, I'm doctor, sure doctor, 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 hey, nurse, thank you, doctor. Hey! have the money I invested. I'm so desperate. This is a matter of life and death. Please. I'm begging you. Who are you? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seen your face before. Please. Peter, please, my knees are on the ground. I'm begging you. My wife is in the hospital. 
Eh? I need about 40,000 Naira to take care of her and the baby. Please, please, I'm begging you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. What is all this? Please move this. Car. Peter. Listen, Peter. If I go into this place, come out and find you here. I am going to take you to the police. Right? Megan, I don't want this man disturbing me here. Don't no forever, Moga. Make I do. Kai, you never die here. If you enter here, I don't die myself. Don't let him die. No, no forever. Kai, Kai, scared here. I decrease. I go shoot somebody here for my sake, man. Papa, Moga, you see somebody here? Enter, enter, enter. Hey, hey. So after. We lost your mother, <laughs> and, and you, are, you are lucky to be alive. <laughs> Papa, what he did actually was so bad. He really went too far. But Papa, I have to thank God for today. Let's forget about the past and move on. Papa, let by God be by God. I'm disappointed in you. But, Papa, you don't expect I die to continue being an enemy. It's not good. The God we worship forgives, so why can't you? Besides, as a catechist, you're a role model for so many people. People look up to you, Papa. Papa, I know what he did was so bad. But let us forgive you. You see, my daughter, your sweet words have really pacified my soul. But it can, can walk. It just can't walk. You know, I'm your only child. <laughs> But like, you know why this world alone? <laughs> Papa, you said you loved me. <laughs> you said you wanted the best for me. <laughs> Papa, <laughs> if you truly love me, I have to forgive you. I have to forgive you from the depth of your heart. Very wonderful daughter to me. There is nothing, absolutely nothing I cannot do for you to make sure that you are happy. But in this particular case, <laughs> in this particular, I mean in this matter. <laughs> Papa. Papa, please. <laughs> Papa, please. <laughs> Oh, oh God, why do this to me? Somebody I love. God used that girl as 
me. It's true that changed me. Look at me. Don't you understand? Girl, I this is the only chance I have to be happy for the rest of my life and you're taking it away from me. That girl is not only about her being my wife. She is going to be my life. How you do it? Do you understand me? And you will bring her back. I'm telling you that is the only way. You're gonna bring love back to me. Because she's the only thing that matters. Or I swear to you, you know what I used to be before. I promise you, if you don't find her, bring her back. I'm going to be a lot worse this time. Honey, have you seen it now? Have you seen what you have cost? Thank you. 